Hey, what's up, Yoke the Productions? It's your boy Tavon back with another one, another type, another type, another one. I can't speak right now, but y'all know what I'm saying. Another one of these videos where um, I can't see my face, y'all just hear my voice over the screen and something displayed. So um, let's get right into it. So this video, I'm going to show y'all, well, as you can see, this is FL Studios. This is a song that, um, producing for my wife Lauren so you know be on the lookout for that um what's the vibe of it I don't know I guess R&B-ish a little bit I don't know it's whatever can't really I don't know it's whatever it's a beat <laughs> so um but I got this cool plugin that I actually showed y'all well I showed y'all how to get the plugin for the low um by plugin boutique so if y'all watched that video you know you it was one of those um I think it's I think I think I referenced it in that video but it's called Stutter Edit, and it's by the cool people at Isotope. They make dope stuff like Ozone, um, Nectar. Uh, what else do they got over there? Uh, uh, gosh, the RX, um, the RX edition stuff over there is pretty cool. Um, the Master Suite is really awesome. So it's two forty nine here, but you can get it for way cheaper. Gotta check out the video. Uh, of course, there's probably a little icon up above to tell y'all exactly how to get it. And um, so yeah, so um, a little about this um, plugin. Uh, it's an effect and it's an instrument, like it says. Um, the cool thing about it is you could tear up your tracks in real time. So basically, so it's not like um, like you have to make the you know like like you got to render it. So like you know how you got to put the plugin first and it buffers it renders and it shows you how it sounds you get something that you could just do it live so you can just throw it on um you, you play you play something or you, you set a parameter and it'll do it live so you could do like effects shimmering sweeps staggering stutters um that will leave your listeners screaming for more um but of course it's real simple all it takes is a press of a key as it says and it really does um it's really simple um it's kind of if you don't if you never like used anything like this um, before, like a real-time process and effect, it, it may throw you off a little bit, but once you set it up and you just mess around with it, that's the key. You just gotta mess around with things. Um, you can't just like be be perfect at it. At the, at, just as soon as you get it, you gotta mess around. Sometimes you gotta spend hours, weeks, days, months, or whatever. So let's go back to the studios. Um, so I put it kind of like on my outro right here well actually let me go to where i set it up um still in the process of mixing and everything so it's right here on my um nexus um my nexus plugin um it's right here so you click it nope wrong one. Oh. here it is right here so what i really have on there just now is just a stutter uh, with a, a jump pan um, wait, is that the right one? Let me see. Main melody. Yep, that's it. Okay, okay so all, yeah, all I already have is um, is a stutter with the jump pan and the gate width, and of course you could adjust all these little thingies or whatever. Um, so yeah, so let's hear how it sounds, and then I'll go in more into um, you know how to set up. So. Okay. Should be hearing like a little stutter in the middle of the melody. And like little I can't really make this sound, but like right here. You know, so it's kind of like a little stutter jumping pan is going on. So um, yeah, so let me show you how to how to kind of like set it up, cause that's the it took me a while. I had to actually go through like a few YouTube videos and everything. Um, so yeah, so like once you install it, whatever, it's like any other um, plugin. You know, you put in your your VST folders or whatever. Uh, it comes up like this. There's different stuff right here, like a default. Uh, usually, I just go to cut and jumps. 
cuts and jumps and you know goes right here this is really what's supposed to be on right here um and i kind of already know where it should be because i set it up before just i guess never set it um so yeah so you know you can mess with stuff like that go to the bank just mess around with it if you just want to go all willy-nilly you just click whatever you want and start turning crap you know for real but yeah so this is right here this is the screen so what first what you have to do uh is let's go to our channel right here um so you right click you go to well it'll be insert because there'll be nothing there or whatever but you go to dashboard click that and then you go to port and hit port one or any other port well it doesn't really matter then you go to your mix window find whatever you want to use it on like I said mine is on Nexus you click it there then you go to this thing right here with the plug-in thingy and the gear right there you go to input port um, input port hit one output port, output port one just make sure it's the same number as whatever it is right there yeah guys so um, so like I said but earlier this is a real-time effect so like uh, I'm just gonna put it on a song pattern loop so this is it without it and um, it's cool that now if you have a MIDI keyboard or whatever um, of course you can also put the pencil to send but since it's real-time you can just hit a button like C5 F4 So of course now this so so this doesn't affect the actual um pattern because it's real time so you're not gonna it's not like permanent. Let's just say it's not permanent. If I want to put make it permanent, of course you also delete it, so maybe permanent is not the word, but if I want to like kind of set it in place you can just press slow down so so you can just be crazy you know then you can go back to here just change some stuff so so, so this is like kind of what it's set to it's, uh, it's pretty cool you can see everything at work but yeah guys so um, that's stutter edit by isotope is really cool it's really dope uh, it's two forty nine on the website, but there's plug there's a website called Plugin Boutique where you can get it for for the low. I don't even I don't even know how much I paid for it. It was definitely more than half off, and it's worth it. It just adds a whole new dynamic to your beat, just like this right here. I mean, of course, it probably just sounds like a jumbo mess right there, but once you do it tastefully and everything, it's pretty cool, you know. So just a quick recap, you know, for people who do have it or if you get it, insert dashboard. Make sure your port is one. Go to your plugin. This icon right here. Make sure these are the same number as what you put in any dashboard. And you can trigger it. Put your keys right here. Or pencil it in. So yeah, so thanks guys, thanks for watching. Um, we really appreciate y'all watching, always coming back to see what videos we got. Um, let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know, don't forget to share this video. If you're a producer, if you know any cool plugins, if you use Isotope Stutter Edit, let me know. I mean, cause hey, I just got this thing. I got it about a while ago, but I'm just really starting to use it and get back into uh, producing music. Um, I feel like I just said music twice. <laughs> but i'm really you know getting back into it you know so let me know um yeah like i said let me know any other cool plugins 
VSTs, anything out there in the streets. Like, I'm also trying to expand my 808 selections and everything. Uh, I got so many, so many that I don't use. And, you know, some of my stuff is dated because I've been using FLs since 10. Was it 10? No, 9, I think. Whatever. I was still in high school when I was using it. And I'm 26 right now, so I've been using it for a while. But, um, yeah, guys, so, you know, don't forget to share this video. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And we'll see y'all later. Peace.